channel so I'm getting ready like always so I'm going to happy hour with the girls and then one of their jobs is having an event tonight so we're gonna to go to that and then maybe end up somewhere afterwards I'm not sure but it's looking like one of those nights um so yeah I'm getting ready to do my hair I've already washed it and things like that but I want to blow dry it and then I have another V part that I'm putting on this one is from Hermosa hair first time getting away from this company so we're gonna see about that even though it's like not a lace front I feel like those are like the true test um but this is just a v part and y'all know no glue no lace none of that in the tiniest amount so i just got my leave out from my last little hiatus of wearing v parts to start back curling again y'all and i'm about to straighten it again so wish me and my curls luck i hope i do not damage them again but yeah let's see what this unit is looking like so it's 26 inches and it's 220 density is what it looks like. It doesn't really feel like 220 density, but I guess maybe because it's longer. So you know, like when it's longer, the weight is in the length as well. But this is it. I got a new blow dryer too. Well, it's not new, it's old. I've been having it for a long time, but I finally took it out the box, y'all. But it's three different levels. I always put it on the highest. It's my heritage, like spelled hair, like heritage i think they're so cute so this is what i'm about to use and i'm going to use the care care as my heat protector so i'm going to do it from the back up well actually okay so i want to do a bust down middle part 26 inch sleigh um but y'all know i keep doing side parts so i was trying to see if i wanted to how i want to braid my hair underneath that's what i'm trying to see like my nails are hella long so i don't even know if i could coral like maybe do some big ones going back and then i'm gonna do a middle part i want to spend a minute without you i know you feel the same so come on give me love i'm gonna show you how to move how to move with my body come hit me with your touch and make me want to say so i need it to be flat because it needs to be like super sleek okay so i don't know i don't know what to do i'm gonna try i don't know why i would try on these little edges Damn. and yeah you know what's up ain't nothing i won't do i won't do for your body so give me all you got right now i know i'm yours baby so come give me Feel like they're about to fall off already, y'all. So come give me love. I never so I was actually able to get my hair braided down way better than I thought I would, especially with my nails at this length. So now I'm just going in with a little bit of my growth oil just all over my scalp. And especially because every time I blow dry my hair, my scalp gets so dry. So I'm just rubbing this all over. And then I did not feel like threading a needle. So I was like, I'm going to be lazy. And I missed a piece of hair. I'm just seeing that. But I just braided it into two braids and I crisscrossed it in the back and used the little snap clips to hold it in place. Eventually, like a few days later, I did end up sewing it because they slid down. But that's how it looked. And then I went ahead and put the wig on, got it on nice and snapped in. And then I was like, this is too big. Like, it just felt so droopy in the back. And it was like sitting on my neck. Nothing quite like this. I get a high every time we kiss. Can't get enough, baby. So come give me and I told y'all I was getting ready to go to happy hour and stuff. So I was like, am I about to work with this? And I was really trying and I was like, nope, I can't do it. So I took it off and I was like, I'm going to try this little method that I seen um, a long time ago and see if I can get the wig to shrink a little bit. So you see the spaces in between the tracks. 
So what you do is you take a needle and you start from the bottom and you just go up. Like, I'm going to show you a better angle. I'm not showing you that good this first time because I was still trying to figure it out. But you just go up and it's so fast. It literally took me like three minutes to do the entire thing. But you just slide the needle through all of the loose um, cap and then just pull it up and tug. And what this does is it's going to shrink the cap down a little bit. But what I figured out, and I'll tell you guys a little more later on, is that it only shrunk it. Like it got it off of my neck. So it was no longer sitting on my neck, but it was still a little bit too bulky. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do three of these. So one on each side and then um, one going up the middle. I can't fake it When I'm with you my legs go weak hey, Can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat So I didn't want to tug it too much So I mainly like tugged the bottom And left the top kind of loose And then I tied about three knots on the end To keep it from unraveling This fake plan is getting so strong Love me till the morning, love me all night long There's something special about you You're the one that I so here's kind of a close-up of what it looks like. You see how it's more like bunched up at the bottom right there by my finger and then it's a little bit looser at the top. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and this is a better view so you guys can see y'all. It was so fast. Like this is in real time. It's not sped up or anything and you just, it was so quick. So come on, give me love. I'm going to show you how to move, how to move with my body. Come hit me with your touch and make me want to say. So this is what it ends up looking like with the three stitches. So it's one on each side and one in the middle. You can see it's like bunched up at the bottom. So I put the unit on and then I start like rubbing it and feeling it because I'm like, is it working? So I started getting a little bit excited because I felt it lift up off my neck like it wasn't sitting on my neck anymore. Um, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna work with this. So I went ahead and took my braids out on the side and then I added a little more heat protectant to my leave out. So I used the Color Wild Dream Coat and you're supposed to use it on wet hair, but I had already blown dry my hair so I just sprayed it on my dry hair and then blow dried it a little bit more and then went in with my flat irons to flat iron everything out So once I got my hair straight, I'm not going to lie, it looked so good from the front, but soon as you turn to the side, it was still giving helmet. Like, what? Not going to lie. Definitely giving helmet, but I couldn't really do much because I had to be somewhere. So I did go ahead and get those crimps out. Like, I straightened it a bit more and got it as flat as I could, and it was dark where we were going. So I was like, okay, no side profiles for me, and then this is a few days later, I'm going to fix it, and I'm going to do something else. So I've done this before. Before, but I wanted to try the other thing out because it seemed like I don't know it just seemed like it will work So you see that little piece in the middle that's kind of puckled out and when you flip it It looks like I'm doing a little mouth You're going to take this piece and you're going to sew it together So I've only tried this on a curly unit before I've never tried it on a straight unit And I was hesitant because I didn't know like exactly what the back was going to look like with the curly unit It's like this is big wild hair you can't really tell but with the straight one, I was like, I don't know if you're going to see like the indent, but I was desperate and I was going to try it anyway. So you want to start at the bottom and you want to start with the more fabric that you're sewing and you're going to taper it up, like do less and less fabric 
as you get to the top. So you will also want to make sure that you're going in and out of the same side. You're pushing the needle through one side and then pushing it through that exact same side. Like you don't want to cross it over because it's going to bunch up. And I don't know, you may be able to do that, but I didn't do it like that because I didn't know how it was going to like feel or look. So I just went in and out of one side and then I'll show you a little bit later what I do with like the little flat piece. Won't you hold me like I'm yours? Show me that I'm yours. You know just what I want. Won't you love me like the last time? Like a time was right now. Show me what it's about. Love me till the morning. Love me in the evening. You know what I want. So I put about two knots at the end of the string, and then this is what the inside looks like. And when you flip it over, it actually surprised me, and it was covered really well. Like you could not see the indent or the little nothing. You couldn't see anything from the outside. Won't you hold me like I'm yours? Show me that I'm yours. You know just what I so if you want, you can sew this piece down to keep it from bending once you put the wig on. But I just was being lazy and I was like, let me see if I can flat iron it. So I just smashed it down with the flat irons and it actually worked. But you do want to be careful because it started to like melt. So you only want to do it for a little bit just to get it flat and to keep it from bending when you put it on. But look how smooth it looks, y'all. And then I'm going to put it on the wig head. And look at that. It looks so good. You cannot tell where it is. Like I'm going to point at it like you can feel it but you can't see it at all. And then I'm gonna put the wig on and show you guys what it looks like. So I was really impressed with these two methods together. Like look how flat it is from the side and then I'm gonna show you the back. Like, you can't tell at all that it is sewn together in multiple places underneath this hair y'all. Like look how smooth it is. You can't see the lump. You can't see any lumps at all and it was so lumpy before. It's also flat from the front and then I'll do a side by side comparison so you can see like how much more bulky it was before and how it is now. Like look how flat it is now. So I hope this video helps somebody out there. Um, I'll have everything down below in the description box for you guys. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Won't you love me like the last time, like a time was right now. Show me